guy is so talented, it's beyond a joke. And he is ready for this scrap. Hi, welcome back to yet another episode of five things that advanced players have mastered. And if you're serious about improving your game, you need to focus in on these five areas. And one of the five things that we're gonna be focusing in on today is the second serve. In the 20 years that I've been teaching tennis at the club level, I consistently see a few things that trip players up. One is the unwillingness to miss the ball when learning. Two is that they don't wanna let their partner down. And three, they feel like if they swing faster, they're gonna lose control of the ball. All of these things hinder the ability to improve their second serve. We're gonna cover more of that a little bit later, but first, we're gonna cover the importance of the second serve. And to help us do that today is an ATP Tour veteran Hans Podlipnik. Let's take a look. With an impressive career spanning 14 years, Podlipnik has played in all four Grand Slams. In 2018, Hans and his doubles partner Marcelo played an impressive Wimbledon second round match, winning 22 to 20 in the fifth. Well, Hans, first off, I want to thank you for joining us today. Hey, thanks for having me here. Let's get right into it. What is the importance that the second serve has as a tour player or even an advanced club player? Well, personally for me, the second serve was so important because it gave me so much peace of mind for my first serve. When I had a good second serve, I knew that uh, I could go more for my first serve. That was such a huge peace of, peace of mind that uh, if I wouldn't have a great second serve, then I just couldn't go for my first serve, especially in important moments. Where did you focus your efforts when you were practicing your second serve? And I think a very important part of this is while you were on the tour, still competing. When I was working on my second serve, I used to work the most on the ad side, for example, on the kick spin that would bounce right really off of the court. So that would give me the advantage to position myself, take my forehand. On the deuce side, I used to practice a lot to serve to the tee so I could get to my opponent's backhand and I could start dictating the point with my forehand immediately. That made a huge difference in my game, especially when I was playing on clay court. Well, Hans, I really appreciate you taking a moment to talk with us about the importance of the second serve. Thanks, Jordan, and thank you, Tennis Beyond, for having me on the show today. Bye-bye. Okay, so now we know the importance of the second serve. We know where to focus our attention. I'm going to show you those two types of serves that Hans was talking about, but in order to do that stuff, we got to step outside. I'm going to start with the second serve kicker first, and we're going to focus in on two parts. We're going to focus in on the path that the ball takes. So right now, notice where it's leaving. This ball is going to go up, and then it's going to go down. It's going to go behind my head. That is important because that sets you up for the kick serve. So it goes just behind my head, and then that leads us into contact. Notice at contact here, the racket is on its side. It is not straight up and down like this at the point of contact. And that is important because I need to be able to brush by the ball. So what I'm doing here is I'm swinging up through the ball and then I'm swinging down the baseline. So let's watch the path that the racket takes. It goes up and then notice how it's going down the baseline right here. That allows for the proper brush to be able to hit the kick serve. And I'll attach both of these serves at the end of the video. You can check them out. Now on to the second, which is hitting a second serve up the tee on the deuce side. And where we're going to focus our attention is right at the point of contact because we need to be able to spin the ball properly to make sure that we still have consistency in the shot. Now usually when somebody hits a slice serve, they think that they need to go around the outside edge. And that's true but that type of side spin will not give you more consistency in the court. So not only do we have to hit across the side like you can see here, but I'm actually putting a little bit of top spin, just a slight bit of top spin on that ball too, to be able to bend the ball down and have more clearance over the net, yet not hit it long. That's where you really need to be able to focus your attention to hit an aggressive second serve 
up the T. So hey, thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you again on the next video.